Good afternoon and welcome to the next short video in the Ahargana series. Chandrayaan 3 has landed on the moon and Pragyan is roving on the surface of the moon. Isro tells us that for the next 14 days there will be continuous sunlight on the moon and that powers the solar panels of the rover. But how is this possible? How can there be 14 days of continuous sunlight on the moon? So this time in this episode, I take you to the surface of the moon and let's watch the sunrise and sunset on the moon. So here we are on the surface of the moon and it's 2023, August 21st, 9 p.m. in the night, Earth time. But on the moon, the sun is about to rise. I hide the landscape so that you can see the actual lunar horizon and there you go, the sun is peeping above the horizon. Half the disk is above the horizon. And I'm going to roll the animation now and you watch the sunrise and the sunset on the moon. Keep an eye on this clock here to see how long a lunar day takes. But also remember, the clock ticking here is synchronized with the spinning of the earth. Here goes. Clearly the earth is spinning much faster than the moon is spinning because it is the spinning of the moon which causes sunrise and sunset and that is much, 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 much slower. We are approaching sunset on the moon and we are into September now. September 4th, September 5th, and September 5th at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, the sun sets on the moon. Let's confirm that the sun has indeed set. There you go on the western horizon of the moon. Half the disk of the sun is below the horizon. So it has taken 14 days and 18 hours for the sun to rise and set. A lunar day is 14 days and 18 hours and that is nothing but epoxia. Because you know that 29.5 days is a Chandramasa. On an average, it varies month to month, but if you take an over a year, it averages to 29.5 days. And this is half of that, so this is a Paksha. And this is exactly what Isro also tells us, 14 days there will be continuous sunlight. And you know what? This is also what the Surya Siddhanta tells us. The Surya Siddhanta says that our Pitrus residing on the moon see the sun for one paksha and this was written 1600 years back think about it and while you are thinking about it i will close this episode here thank you very much for watching